Let's make a Figma plugin using cursor. So let's go to plugins here in Figma, development, new plugin. We're gonna name it, rename my layers. It's going to be Figma only. We can do FigGem next time. We're gonna run this plugin without the need for a UI. It's gonna ask you to save this on your computer. This is going to be a folder containing the necessary code base. We are gonna click done. Your plugin is going to show up here. And it's gonna ask us to open the folder. So here we are in cursor. All I did was drag the folder that we just downloaded from Figma. It's going to require you to have node installed, which is explained here. The same with TypeScript. And this is the command needed to install all of our dependencies. So let's paste that command in cursor. All of our dependencies are now installed. Then want to command shift B and select watch TS config. That is going to allow us to run our first test, which is this. And if you get these orange rectangles, it means that everything was set up properly. So back in cursor is where the fun actually starts. We're going to select the code and chat with it. So this plugin is going to rename the selected frame and all of its children layers. Override every time the plugin is run. For text, see text. For shapes, for auto layout, L for layout column when it's vertical and L for layout row when horizontal. So these are not obviously going to be exact, but that is based on a popular naming convention called BEM. Let's apply this, see what happens. It's gonna go through the code and it's gonna ask us to accept it. So let's see what happens if we run this plugin here now, boom. And sure enough, it's actually working. So let's actually open up everything. And it does in fact look a lot better. There's a wrapper, there's a column, there's a row, there are components, there's text, there's more text, etc. So there you have it. In a few minutes, you can get a plugin to work. And you can then go here and you can publish it. Cheers.